Welcome back to the basics of digital audio signal processing and machine learning for audio using Python. And this time we're back to that part where we go through the code example step by step, line by line, discussing the Python code involved in the example. So in this example, we are using PyTorch and Torch Audio to load a way audio wave file and to plot this audio wave file. I will start by the first line. We already know what is import. We've seen in previous tutorials, but I will have to jump now because we start with Torch Audio. But before we talk about Torch Audio, we need to go to this line here, import Torch, and we need to talk about PyTorch. So PyTorch is an open source machine learning framework and it's widely used, perhaps one of the most popular machine learning frameworks that is out there. When we go to PyTorch.org, we will have here the tutorials and there we have a special audio section. In this audio section, we will have things about audio I.O. So there is this Torch Audio that integrates Lisbox and provides a rich set of audio I.O. So we will talk about Torch Audio in the next tutorial. There will be things, examples and tutorials about audio resampling, about data augmentation, audio feature extractions, audio feature augmentation, there are some audio data sets, so Python, Torch Audio provides easy access to common and publicly accessible data sets. There will be some examples on speech recognition, speech command classification, text-to-speech, and forced alignment with wave to vec So, as we were talking about PyTorch, now we reach Torch Audio. So, so Torch Audio is this library for audio and signal processing with PyTorch and as I mentioned it provides I.O. signal and data processing functions, data sets, model implementations and application components. So you can go to pytorch.org slash audio and you find here the Torch, the Torch audio documentation with the API reference getting started, advanced uses and it's a very powerful library for audio using PyTorch. So with this we've covered import torch and import torch audio. Just a few more words about PyTorch. It is um, production ready so there is also torch script and then PyTorch provides easy to use and flexibility in eager mode while seamlessly transitioning so graph mode for speed optimization and functionality in C++ runtime environments. We can optimize performance in both uh, research and production by taking advantage of native support for asynchronous execution. We have a robust ecosystem. We have a C++ front end. So the C++ front end is a pure C++ interface to PyTorch that follows the design and ar architecture of the established PyTorch front end and it's intended to enable research in high performance, low latency and bare metal C++ applications. And we also have cloud support, so PyTorch is well supported on major cloud platforms providing frictionless development and easy scaling through pre-built images, large scale training on GPUs and the ability to run models in a production scale environment and much more. So well, here you find information on pytorch.org, how to install, and you have different options. You can choose a different um, CUDA platforms. So you have CUDA 10.2, CUDA 11.3. You can install using Conda. You can install using pip. There is a version for Linux, Mac, and Windows. And just as a quick note. So CUDA is a computer unified device architecture, which is a parallel computing platform and application programming interface that allows software to use certain types of GPUs, graphics processing unit. Now, it's very popular, this NVIDIA CUDA 
designed to work with programming languages such as C, C++, and we have support for PyTorch, TensorFlow, and other machine learning libraries. So today we're talking about PyTorch, Torch Audio, and we've covered this line here and this line here.